In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use macros as a format shortcut here in Google Sheets. So when I say macros, this is an extension that you can use to record steps that you do in formatting your data set. Then if you save it, you can apply it to another data set. Here's how to do it. So let's say I'm going to be formatting this data set right here, and I'm going to be applying the same format for this other data set. So I'm going to be using macros to record all of the steps that I will be doing in formatting this data set right here. Once I've saved that macro, I can easily just reapply it right here without redoing all the same steps. So let's get started. I'm going to go back to this data set right here. Go to extensions in the menu bar. And here on the second row, you'll see macros. On the right side, we have record macro, import macro, and manage macros. So we're going to click on the first option right here. And now you'll see at the bottom, it's recording the new macro. Any steps that you do from this point onward will be recorded. And you'll see the two options at the bottom use absolute references. So when applying the macro, you will be using the exact location as recorded. And in the second one, you can use relative references where the macro will be applied using active selection. So we're going to be using absolute references right here and let's get started. So the first thing that I want to do would be to freeze the first row right here. Again, freezing your rows would help you put this row in place so that when you scroll up and down, it will stay in place and you'll see that it has recorded that first step. Let's try and freeze our first column right here. And you'll see again, that's also recorded. Next one would be, I want to add a column to the right of this one. So I'm going to click on this column, right click on it and select insert one column to the right. And there we have it. Now I'm just going to insert something in here. I've input some text and now what I'm going to do is to format these columns right here by filling them with another color. So I'm just going to select that column, go to fill color right here select the color that I want for that column. And there it is. Let's try the next one. Select the column right here. Go to fill color, select the color that you want. There you have it. Let's try it again here. For this column right here, select another color. And for the last one, do the same thing. And there you have it. So those are all the steps that I want to do with all my data set. Now that I've recorded it, I'm going to save it right here. Just click on save. Now you have a chance to rename that macro. Let's rename it as format one. And here we have an optional keyboard shortcut where we have control, alt and shift plus a number of your choice. Let's put in number one and just click on save. It's saving the new macro. And now that it's been saved, we are going to use it to format this next data set right here. So to apply the same format or to use the macro, all we have to do now is to go back to extensions, select macros again. And this time we're going to select the macro that we renamed format one. If we click on it, it will run the script. And now it has applied the same format, the same steps that we did to the previous data set. Since they are two different data sets, they are not equal in size. We have only colored until this part, but we still added that same column right here. And there we have it. So if you do plan on applying the same format on two different data sets, Make sure they are of the same size. They have the same number of columns and the same number of rows so that if you do apply the format, it will still look uniform. But if that's not your intention, let's say you're just trying to format the headers and just freezing the rows and the columns, then that will be fine. Now let's try and apply that on a blank sheet. Let's see if it still works. This time I'm going to be using the keyboard shortcut. 
which would be if we go back to extensions, go to macros, the keyboard shortcut would be control alt shift and the number one. So if we press on those keys, that's control alt and shift number one. There we have it. It's running the script and it has applied the same format, the same steps that we did on our first data set. So this is possible with any sheet that is within your spreadsheet. Now, if we go back to extensions, we can also manage our macros. So if we select that one here on the third row, you'll see that we have the saved macro, which we renamed format one with the keyboard shortcut that we also created. Now in the three dotted line, we have more options. If we click on it, we can edit the script with app script, or you can just simply remove it. Now, if we click on remove, we have deleted that macro. Now, if we click on update and go back to extensions, go to macros, that recorded macro has now disappeared. But all the steps that we have done are still here. It doesn't affect our data set. The format that has been done does not get deleted. It's only the macro that has been recorded that has been deleted. And there you have it. That's how to use macros as a format shortcut here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.